Okay, I've shown you how to factor a trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1. I've shown you a rather lengthy way of factoring a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1, such in this case here, 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. And it's a long, drawn out process. You have to find product two numbers and such and such, difference is something else. And you go through, set it up, do factor by grouping, and work it out, work it out, work it out. This next method I'm going to show you is short. It does rely on the fact that once you've obtained these pair of numbers, that you can factor it. And you're going to um, kind of anticipate that an answer exists out there, and then you can kind of fill it in. What do I mean by that? Well, just wait. Okay, we're going to focus on just the first two terms here. In this case, it's the 3x squared minus 12x. The rest of it will come later once we get to our answer. But we're only going to be focusing on the 3x squared minus 12x. So right now I'm just having you focus on the 3x squared, which is your very first term, minus 12x, which is almost your very first two terms here. The only difference is you're replacing this coefficient of your middle term with the larger of the two. So you write down the first term and the second term, but you're replacing this number, this coefficient, this 10 here, with the 12, which is your larger of your two numbers. Now why would I do that? Well, 3x squared minus 12x. Our very next step here was to factor out the GCF of your first two terms and your last two terms. Now I'm going to factor out the GCF of just these two and we get 3x. And what do you have left over? x minus 4. Now if you remember, on the right you'd factor out uh, the GCF here which was 2 and you, what you'd have left over is the x minus 4. Then you factor out the x minus 4 and you get whatever's left over. Now, what we're going to do with this is actually write down the answer, almost. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this part because um, we're not we're not factored by grouping through this shorter method. All I did was two things up till now. My side work, I found a pair of two numbers that gave the product being 24, difference being 10. And then I rewrote my first two terms of my trinomial, putting the second term's coefficient to be the larger of the two. That's the only thing I did. Then I factored out the GCF. So if you remember before, you factor out the x minus 4. Then you had what remains is in the second part. Well, what remains is 3x, and then something else. So we have something that we have no idea what goes in there. But it's easy to figure out. And how do we figure it out? Well, this kind of, this next step kind of goes back to that uh, situation where your leading coefficient was 1. You brought down the minus. Minus times minus is plus. So if you notice, we almost have the factorization here x minus 4 times 3x plus something. Well, what's that something? Well, if you were to FOIL this out, forget about the f, the firsts, the o, the, which is the outers. Forget about the inners. Focus on the last terms. These two, when you multiply them together, 4 times whatever this is needs to give you 8. So what number times 4 gives you 8? Or better yet, 8 divided by 4 is what? And that will be 2. So this is the shorter method. This is much easier to deal with than the longer method. You just do a quick side work, and then you write down your answer. So let me go through another example. OK, so we're now going to go through an example. This will be the final example, because my battery is about ready to die. So I kind of have to wait with me. And it's a good thing we're going through the short method. Okay. So, we have 6x squared plus 9x plus 8. What you're still need, going to need to do is find the product of two numbers, whose 6 times 8, which is 48. 
the sum will be 19. Okay, so you go through the list, 1 and 48, 2 and 24, 3 and 16. Hey, there's our pair. So now you write down your first term, 6x squared, plus your second term, except we are going to replace the 19 with 16. So it's 6x squared plus 16x. Factor out your GCF, which in this case is 2x. And what you have left over is 3x plus 8. Put the 3x plus 8 underneath. Your 2x, which is the GCF, leads the second factor. And now you've got to figure what this is. So first of all, our sign. 1, or excuse me, plus, bring down. Plus times plus is plus. And now you've got to figure out 8 times what gives you 8. And so that is 1. There. Done. In just a few seconds. And I'll try to push my luck by doing another example. Okay. Hopefully my battery doesn't run out in the next few minutes. Um, Last problem, 6x squared minus x minus 12. I've gone ahead and looked at the product, two numbers of 72, and the only one with a pair, or with a difference rather, being one is eight and nine. So the difference there is one. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your first term, 6x squared, and then you're gonna subtract, instead of just x, you're gonna do the larger of your two numbers, 9x. So you have 6x squared minus 9x. Factor out your GCF, which is 3x, and you're left with 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 goes first. And your 3x is the leading term of your second factor. So now you look at the product of your two signs here, minus times minus, which is plus. And then you ask yourself the question, 3 times what gives you 12? The answer to that is 4. So there you have it. And my battery is about...